All right, hey, Shalawan, mock you. Uh, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to all you brothers out there doing the work and sincerity and truth. Striving for the whole full leg. Enduring all afflictions, seeking out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So, Lockie, okay, let me get let me get this camera set up. All right. Uh, ho hopefully, our brothers can hear me. Uh, as I say, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to y'all, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work of sincerity and truth. Striving for the whole full leg during all afflictions. And seeking out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakaq Wadaz, Barakadam Akim. All right. Um, hey, I just want to go into some scriptures regarding uh, America, a.k.a. Uh, Babylon, spiritually known as Egypt, Sodom. So I'm going to go into that. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're living in. We're living in that time where people, you know what I'm saying? Like in the time of Egypt, even in Sodom, they didn't like hearing the word of the Most High. You know what I'm saying? They hate, they despise the, the men of the Lord that were out here doing the work, man. You know? So I want to pull out, uh, I want to start off with this one in Revelations. And uh, Revelations 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt where also our Lord was crucified and that's where we're, um, we're, bur we're buried our, our bodies are lying in the streets of this great city man you know it said uh, that, that they're dead bodies meaning that spirit, they're spiritually dead you Negro Latinos and Native American Indians not knowing who, who you are as a people so you lay, you lay your bodies are laying dead here in the streets of America man aka known as Babylon Sodom or Egypt you know and people despise it and they, they want us to stay dead they don't want to hear they don't want us coming out here on the highways and the byways you know you know it says and their dead body shall lie in the street of the great city I'm gonna bring out this one in Isaiah going into that uh, Let's see here. Let's lock you. Give me one second. It says. This is uh, Isaiah 30 or 51. And 23. But I will put it into thy hand. And I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee. Which has said to thy soul. Bow down that we may go over. And thou hast laid thy body as the ground. And as the street to them that went over. You see. Cause that's what they've done to the Negro Latinos and Native American Indians. They've always laid us down to the ground and walked over us. They used us as a walking mat to build up their kingdom, to, to uh, uh, take care of their kids, to wash their houses, to 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 uh, to tend to their their crops. Okay. But they don't want to tell you who you are as a people. Okay. That's what we're coming out here telling who you are here in in, in this land that is known as spiritually uh, known as Egypt or Sodom. You know, I'm going to read that again. And I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, right? To afflict somebody is to, um, you know, cause harm unto you, whether it be physically, mentally, you know. They're not giving life unto you. They're not breathing life unto you, meaning like they're not giving you education. They're not, according to the Bible, you know, who you are as a people. Because Esau set, is set up to give you, um, to give you, uh, his education, what he deems as, as what you what you need, you know, what you like in his educational system, you know, 
instead of uh, telling you the truth, telling you that you are uh, 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 an Israelite, a Hebrew Israelite. You know? They don't want to do that. They want to keep you dead down here in, in, in America, man. Asleep. Not knowing who you are. Okay? Like, like here, like in the book of Proverbs, it says, um, let's see here. This is uh, Proverbs 21 and 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Because he, Esau knows that if you don't have understanding, you're dead. You don't know who you are. You don't know what's going on. Okay? You're not, you're, you're, your mind hasn't been fully activated. Activated to what? To knowing things. To knowing truth. Instead, he wants you to believe in lies because he knows lies leads you unto death, man. It leads you astray. Unto a whole different path. When someone lies to you, they leave you in the dark because they're working mischief around you, man. That's what Esau, the so-called white man, has done for, for he has perpetuated from, from the since he ever existed, man. Going all the way time to the uh, Garden of Eden when he came as that snake with the double tongue. The Native American Indians already knew what it was, man. When they said that you had a, a, a forked tongue, he's perpetuated lies throughout all this this time that we've lived on the earth. And still does it to this very day, man. He still don't come out and tell you that the Negro Latinos and Native American Indians that were enslaved, that were put on cargo slave ships during the transatlantic slave trade, and came and raped and pillaged and murdered the uh, Native American Indians, are I Israelites. That they are the true people of the Most High. Instead, they claim that they are. You know? And that's far from the truth, man. That's a lie. They're, they're, they're regarded as the synagogue of Satan, man, according to the book of Revelations, man. And the word Satan in the Hebrew is shatan, which means uh, advert, ad, to be adverse or adver, ad, uh, an adversary. You know? And that's all we're doing. We're coming out here speaking truth sake to our people. Letting the people know on this side, the Negro Latinos and Native American Indians, who, who you are as a people, man. That's it. Educating you according to the Bible, waking you up, stirring up your pure minds, man, bringing you back to that that uh your true nationality. You know, waking you up, man. I'm gonna read that again. It says, "The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead." Why? Because your spirit, you, you don't know anything, man. You know. So you remain, you remain under that uh, state of ignorance, obscurity. The word obscure is to be darkened. You can't see clearly, man. You know? But that's why the Mosai came into the world, or his son, Yahweh Shai, to give us light, to give us knowledge, man. To give us the, 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 uh, the word, the, the, the Holy Scriptures, which is known as the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, to, to, to be a light into our, unto our path, man. In the valley of... Uh, 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 the valley of shadow of death, which is America, man. And now, in this, in our time, we're seeing more brothers waking up to this truth, waking up to who you are, and it's not—it's it's of no coincidence. This ain't no trend. This ain't no fad. This is actually a real thing that's going on through the spirit, man. That the Most High He has sanctioned this, man. You know. Waking up, man, to this truth. It says, but the man that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. You know? This is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 17. This I say therefore and testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of the Most High through the ignorance that is in them because the blindness of the heart. You see? So we're not willingly or unwillingly, whether it's unwillingly, Lord willing, if you're the elect, the Most High is going to send a man that's going to uh, uh, um, bring you out of that dark, that darkened state of mind. 
then you're going to you're going to gravitate and cleave onto the light okay or willingly you know you um you have to get get, get out of that lord willing yet the only way you're going to get out of that is by way of uh, of a man of the lord the, the most i work in a miracle on your mind on your mind frame man you know that's the only way there's no other way but you have to you can't be that that's what's alienated you from the the truth it says having the understanding darkened being alienated from the life of the most high through the ignorance so to to have your understanding darkened that means you're in a, a state of a, a, a death man you know to have your understanding darkened means that you don't know who what's going on you don't know who you are because a, a man that's set up to rule this kingdom is telling you who you are you're a, a mesquite no you, we're not no mesquite the word mesquite goes back to the word mashika which means anointed man in the in the Nahuatl tongue over there with the uh, uh, the aztecas because the so-called white man he's the one that's uh, 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 labeled every single human being on the earth man and the planets and the lands a lot of you people don't even know that america is named after amerigo vespucci man y'all think christopher columbus uh, discovered america You know, the indigenous people are the ones that are, had discovered America, so-called America. Y'all don't even know that. People are still to this very day arguing who the Native American Indians are, man. Who were they? Who were the Maya? Who were the Aztecas? To this very day. And then you got the so-called Negro that, that deemed themselves African American. You know, but then they're, they're they're coming out of that mindset saying, "Ain't no African." You know, because Africa was where did they where did Africa get, get its land? The name of uh, the uh, that where did they get that name for that landmass? From a Roman general named uh, 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 Leo Superior uh, Leo, uh, Leo Superior uh, Africanus, if I'm not mistaken. You know, either it's other way around, either it's a Superior Leo or Su Leo Superior. Scipio, Slakia, Leo Scipio Africanus. That's how they got that word or that, that name for that landmass there in Africa, man. That's it. And meanwhile, they're keeping uh, uh, you Negro Latinos and Native American Indians in a low state of darkness. Your, your understanding alienated or darkened. Right? But the most high is sending out men to wake you up from that that mind frame let me bring out this one this is isaiah 60 and 1 it says arise shine for the light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon thee for behold the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people but the lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee you see so that gross darkness is what's darkening you and alienating you from the truth has been a, a separation between the light and dark, that's what the Most High has separated darkness and light. Esau, he, he, he thrives off darkness. He don't thrive off of, of shedding light. And if he does, it, there's a lot of lies within it. You know? But this place is known as spiritually as Egypt. What happened in Egypt? Egypt, Pharaoh, which there was many Pharaohs throughout that time when uh, Israel was there, right? What, what, what did Moses, what, what did the Most High command Moses and Aaron to tell him? Let, let, let his people go. And what did Pharaoh do? He got proud. He's like, hell no, I ain't going to let them people go. They're my slaves. But the, what did the Most High do? Destroyed them. Gave them ten plagues. And ultimately took their, their, the firstborn, man. Every firstborn that was born, that, that was the Most High, took them. Took that life. <clears throat> but even at that, Pharaoh was still hardened, man. The Egyptians. You think that they were educating them, educating them of the truth? As who they were as a people even though they knew at that time they knew who they were as a time but they weren't trying to tell them hey it, it, they weren't serving their power nothing like that i'm talking about the egyptians weren't serving yahweh you know else it would have been a different outcome you know but it's just it's just a point that you know egypt um, you know, we, we know Egypt is uh, means double straits or the house of bondage. 
And the actual landmass that they were there to be enslaved was Mizraim. Okay? But through the process of time, they, they eventually started to forget who they were because they were being tossed to and fro through all these different nations and uh, being put under slave, uh, under captivity or into captivity. You know? But no longer is the Most High allowing that to happen. That's why he says, I have, uh, I have a rise unto your hearts, man. I have, a, I have a, 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 you know, came to bring light unto you, the Gentiles. That's all it is, man. You know? That's all we're doing is, 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 is shining, the, shining the light, man. Giving understanding unto our people. A lot of our people, they hate this word, man. They don't like what, what we do. They don't like seeing the signs. They don't like seeing young men out here on, on the highways and the byways preaching. They're always trying to get us to move and go over there, go over there, calling the cops, making threats. All because we're over here trying to do the Lord's work. That's it, man, preaching. You know? This is, uh, I'm going to keep reading in Ephesians 4 and uh, 19. It says, who, who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanness with greediness. But ye have not so learned Yahweh Mashiach. And so that you have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Yahweh That you put off concerning the former conversation uh, the old man, which is corrupt according to deceitful lust, and being renewed in the spirit of the mind. That's that's right. We have to be renewed in the spirit of our mind, man. Not remaining in that state of ignorance and thinking that everything that we're doing prior is okay. Prior for, prior of what? Hearing this truth. When you come across a man, you're supposed to hear what he has to say, and you have to cut away all that all that that BS that you were doing prior, man. And come back to the heavenly Father, man. This is what your, your, the people in these churches are not telling you, man. All, all this land right here, all this stuff right here, we're, we have a, a, a heavenly right to be wherever we, we desire, man. But Esau, the so-called white man, has deemed this line is his. This part of the sidewalk is, is, is so much feet that way is, is his. This is yours right here. And he did that to the land. Stolen all the land from the Native American Indians, man. Stolen your identity. Told you you're you are nothing. You know? The most I gave all this stuff that's here. I ain't talking about these buildings. I ain't talking about none of this concrete stuff. I'm talking about the land, the earth. The Lord gave that to who? Jacob, man. Israel. Starting with Adam. And everybody else. All the other nations take part in it. But really, the rightful uh, owners, the, the rulers of the earth, are the Israelites. But they ain't telling you that. The scriptures say they they, they removed, removed not the ancient landmarks, man. Everything has been set up by Yahweh Bashem al -Washah. Read the book of Genesis chapter 10. You know? It says, remove not the ancient landmarks. Okay, it says in that Ephesians 4 and 24 and that you put on the new man <clears throat> which after Yahweh is created in the righteousness and true holiness wherefore putting away lying speaking every man truth with his neighbor for we are members one of another you see for speaking truth to our neighbor for we are, 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 are um, it says for we are members one of another man we're brothers That's, the word neighbor goes back to the word brother you know, but we know that two thirds are not gonna get this. They're gonna reject it and mark themselves enemies, man. Because we're out here doing the work. Because we're speaking truth. Because we're we're shining that light onto them, man. We're, we're, they're comfortable in that state of being in darkness. You know, when somebody uh, you slept all night, or you you you, uh, you went to bed late, and you're barely getting like what four hours of sleep, but then the the, the, the sunlight shines through your room and it hurts your eyes, man. That's how it is. That's how it is when we come out here speaking this truth. These people have a problem with it, man. 
They don't like, they don't like us. That's why it says our dead body shall lie in that great city, man. Spiritually known as Sodom and Egypt. You know? over here to the book of Ezekiel Ezekiel 37 and 1 it says and the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo they were very dry and he said unto me, Son of man, cause these bones, can these bones live? And I answered, O power, thou knowest. Okay, so Ezekiel was seeing a vision. He was seeing a, a great valley and, and nothing but dry bones. There was li literally bones laying in, the, in this valley, man. Like if it was a great slaughter of past time, it all was left with nothing but bones. Man. There was no flesh. Let me get a scripture lined up before I go any further. get this script lined up brothers bear with me real quick Fine. I'm gonna get this scripture lined up and I'm gonna keep reading this is Ezekiel 37 and 4. And again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. That's what we're doing. We're, we're, we're speaking unto the dead and resurrecting them like Yahweh Shai did when he was on the scene. When people died, that was also a representation through the Spirit of how he was going to resurrect Israel, man. But through, that's also a literal account of Yahweh Shai doing those things. But what I'm saying is that Yahweh Shai did these miracles. Man. He was able to, if he's able to resurrect you by the flesh, how much more through the spirit? And all it all it comes, all it all it involves is believing, having faith. That's it. If you believe and have faith, you're, that's the beginning, the beginning stages of you rising up, man. Right? The fear of the Lord is beginning of knowledge, or beginning uh, uh, the fear of the Lord is beginning of knowledge or wisdom, man. You know, you, you start to wake up. Matter of fact, let me bring this one out. This is a uh, this is Second Corinthians chapter four, uh, verse three. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, right? Dead, because to be lost, you're, you're basically you're dead, man. You're, you're, you're just out there, you know, tossed to and fro, not knowing where you're going to go. It says, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. See, because they believe not. So the God of this world hath blinded your minds, man. He's the one that took you over, you know, took, uh, uh, matter of fact, let me get this other one. This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, uh, verse 25. In meekness instructing those that oppose themselves, if God peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him at his will. You see? Because the God of this world, he's blinded you. He's spoken lies unto you. He's stripped you away along with these fake pastors and Christ, uh, these fake uh preachers and pastors they did the same thing man they take part in that same uh that plan along with these minions that are out here walking around you know building up esau's kingdom trying to stop and hinder the work of yahweh you know and not realizing 
Some of them do have a conscious awareness of what they're doing. Some don't. But it's still to your destruction, man. At least you repent. You know? It says, 2 Corinthians 4 and 4, it says, In whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shemashiach, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. You see? He has to shine unto you. First, he's going to send his men to go out in the highways and the byways who have been enlightened, right? That have been awoke. And they're preaching, they're speaking this word of life unto you, to the dry bones. Right? It's up to him if he's going to activate you. It's up to him if he's going to allow you to see the truth. You know? It says, For we preach not ourselves, but of Yahweh Mashiach the Lord, and ourselves your sakes, for Yahweh Shah Mashiach's sake. For, for Yahweh who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shined in our hearts, to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of the Most High in the face of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. But we have this tre treasure in earthly vessels that the excellency of, of the power may be of the Most High and not of us. See? So it's up to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai if he's going to activate you to allow you to see this truth, to, to, to awake out of, out of that, uh, that, that, that uh, you know, that darkness, that ignorant state. Because the scriptures also tell us, uh, he that is ignorant, let him be ignorant, man. You know? You got to wake up out of this stuff, man. Break up the fallow ground of your mind. Toil, toil, labor in this truth. Pray unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man, to keep you afloat, man, to keep you still alive, breathing, having this truth. Always constantly seeking Him, man. Seek His face early before the evil days come. And, and staying faithful, man. You know? Because I guarantee it, man, these people ain't doing that out here. They're not. They're not doing it, man. They're praying to a false god. You know? They're praying to false gods. Still calling on Jesus Christ in 2019. Still think that he's a, a, a white man. They still got this image up in their churches, in their, in their houses. Getting it tattooed on their body. You know? That, that, that's what's going to get a lot of people destroyed, man. This is uh, 1 Cor uh, Corinthians chapter 15, verse 34. It says, Awake to righteousness and sin not. For some have not the knowledge of the Most High. I speak this to your shame. See? He speaks this to your shame, man. It's a shameful thing to not have the knowledge of the Most High, man. To not, to not know who he is or what he looks like. You know? It's a shame to believe in lies. Scriptures say uh, a wicked door giving heed unto false, false lips. You know? A wicked door give heed unto false lips, man. This is uh, Sirach, chapter 24, verse 32. And I will yet make doctrine the shine as the morning, and I will send forth her light afar off. And I will pour out doctrine as prophecy, and leave it to all ages forever. Behold, I have not labored for myself only, but for all them that seek wisdom. That's right, it's only for those that seek wisdom, that want the truth. That are seeking Yahweh Bashem Yahweh seeking his face first. That are as like as like uh, the mindset of King David after the Lord's own heart, man. You know? 
not just a giving lip service. Because that's all everybody does here is gives lip, they're, they're nothing but they give lip service, man. The scriptures say they honor me with their mouth, but their heart is far from me, from me man. The love of many shall wax cold. You know? That's all this, this kingdom America is built upon, man. It's lip service. You know? They're not of, of, of an upright heart, man. That's the, the, they're the same way as their master, their oppressor. But our job is to shine this light, man. We're speaking unto, you, unto the dry bones, man. To prophesy. Right? Ezekiel 37 and 4. Again, he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones. Right? This word, man. Whether it be this light, this, the word, the scriptures is likened unto light, it's likened unto water, it's likened unto wine, a, 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 a nutritious meal, bread, herbs, uh, precious oils, all these things that are uh, uh, beneficial to the body, man, to your health, to our health, man. But people despise it, they reject it, you know? So we're prophesying, we're shining the light onto these on, the, on these dry bones, man. And this light's so powerful that it can it can penetrate. Matter of fact. Let's get this one. This is uh, Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful. And sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of thoughts and intents of the heart. See? That's how powerful this light is. You know? That, that prophecy comes forth as light, as water. You know, like you have to have, in, for something to grow, you have to have the sun, you have to have water, the earth proper minerals within that balance within that soil for that seed to grow that's how this word is it's all spiritual man that's why america is known as spiritually spiritually known as egypt or sodom because they have all those same characteristics here in america man as of those ancient uh, um, um cities man those kingdoms babylon is known as babylon the great this is uh, america's uh rome uh, revived all over again, man. America's Rome all uh, revived all over again. The word Renaissance means rebirth. Why? Because Esau, the so-called white man, he came back into power back in the 1400s and deceived the nations all over again, man. Because prior to that, you had the Dark Ages, right? Which was the uh, the Moors, okay? The the the, the, the that, that was the the. The so-called men of color were ruling in that time, man. You know? 